हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फोटो डिटेक्टर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू शॉक अबाउट द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द फोटो डिटेक्टर्स सो वॉट ऑल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स अ मटीरियल शुड हैव इफ आई हैव टू कॉल इट एज अ फोटो डिटेक्टर सो दिस थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द फोटो डिटेक्टर वॉट इज अ फोटो डिटेक्टर फोटो डिटेक्टर इज अ डिवाइस विच इज डिटेक्टिंग द लाइट आउटपुट एंड इट इज गिविंग मी इलेक्ट्रिकल आउटपुट राइट सो इट इज टेकिंग द लाइट एज द इनपुट एंड इट इज गिविंग मी द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल एज द आउटपुट सो द लाइट विच वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर द फोटो डिटेक्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट एट द रिसीविंग एंड so this light the photo detector are going to take and they are convert converting this light into the form of electrical signal so what is the function of the photo detector it is converting the light energy into the electrical energy this is a basic and the most simplest operation of the photo detector i hope all of you must have understood this thing so now what is the characteristics of a material to be called it as a photo detector so a good photo detector must have these eight characteristics first of all it is highly sensitive at the operating wavelength we know we have the first generation system second generation system and the third generation system which are operating at the different wavelength the first generation system is going to give me the best output or the best gain at 0.8 to 0.9 micrometer right so here at this wavelength i am going to get the lesser detection if i use the basic photo detector right but the second generation system are using the 1.3 micrometer wavelength of light and third generation system are using greater than 1.5 micrometer wavelength of light and as i use the photo detector above the 1.1 micrometer the detection capability is going to enhance and at the lambda greater than 1.1 micrometer the fiber attenuation and the dispersion losses are also reduced so i can say the 2g system the second generation system are going to work better if i consider the photo detector also the third generation system so i hope you understood how we have the sensitivity related to the operating wavelength so i should choose a photo detector which is highly sensitive which is able to detect the given light at the given wavelength so now the second characteristic is it it must be having high fidelity so what does the word fidelity means fidelity means if i am giving a given input signal at the receiver so if let's suppose this is my input signal at the receiver also i should get this only as the output signal so we want to reproduce the received signal waveform as same as the transmitted signal so if i am able to reproduce the received signal exactly same like the transmitted signal so in that scenario i can say the given device is having the high fidelity so all of the photo detectors that i you must use must be having high fidelity so this is the second characteristics now coming to the response of the photo detector so how i can say a uh, photo detector is having the good fidelity its response should be linear with respect to the optical signal if the response is not linear there should be some mismatch in the input and the output of the photo detector but when the response is linear i will be getting the matched input and output waveforms now the next characteristic is the large electrical response to the received optical signal so if i am getting the given optical signal the photo detector is going to give me the electrical signal so the response should be very good right so the maximum electrical signal should be getting for a given optical signal i must be getting a best electrical signal for the given amount of the optical signal right any part of the information must not be lost 
right after that i can say the quantum efficiency should be as high as possible so the electrical signal output per unit the optical signal input is going to give me the efficiency and this efficiency because i am finding out the efficiency of the photon it is termed as the quantum efficiency it should be as high as possible now we should have the short response time my photo detector should not be such a device which is getting the optical signal and it is taking too long to generate the output it should have the short response time to obtain a suitable bandwidth so bandwidth directly depend upon the response time if i want to have the higher bandwidth i must have the shorter response time right so it should have the minimum noise introduced by the detector so this is the ideal condition that i have so this signal should not be detected as this signal right so these are the noises this signal should be detected as this signal only right so the noise introduced by the photo detector itself should be very less and how we can reduce this a uh, noise introduced by the photo detector it has shunt capacitance it has leakage current it has dark current so we must reduce all of these things by reducing all of these things shunt capacitance dark current leakage current i can reduce the noise introduced by the photo detector now the next property is that it should be of small size because i want our device to be as small as possible right so my device should not be as large that i can not even pick it up right so it should be as small as possible i want it to be of small size and the bias voltage should be low so that the operating power should be less so the power requirement for its working should not be as high because i don't want lot of power to operate a basic receiver right so now coming to the high reliability my device or the photo detector should be working in the best of its condition at the room temperature for many years without getting degraded so it should have high reliability and it should have low cost obviously the economic considerations are there for the larger scale communication and i want the devices to be as cheap as possible so i want the low cost photo detector so in the next video we are going to see what are some of the materials that are used to make the photo detectors i hope you understood all of the basic characteristics that a device should follow if it has to be used as a photo detector i hope you like this video and you understood each one of these things if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible If you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and give me your feedback thank you so much